Okay, really quick tutorial on how to get started with Thinkorswim, uh, the trading platform that's provided by TD Ameritrade. Uh, first of all, when you're on the web, you go to their website, thinkorswim.com, hover over software, and first click paper trading. And you sign up here. Once you've signed up, and then you're going to go to software, desktop, download now, and you're going to download and install the program and this is what you get except it's gonna look more like uh, let's see this is the actual setup reset workspace to default this is what it's gonna look like out of the box you just get it to load here there it goes some kind of error message but this is basically what it looks like at first and you're like what the heck do I do now so you have got these different tabs the first I thought was the trade tab where you're gonna do your trading you can like you can type in a, a symbol here and you can trade here you get your orders down below um, but it's just I, I didn't like this area I wanted to see the chart and I wanted to see the moving numbers of, of the trades going on the volume so I you click on charts and you type in your symbols here and now here you go you got your chart but where's everything else click these little tabs on the side you've got your your dashboard I don't particularly use this but let me just turn everything on so you can see this is the news stories uh, let's see big buttons I don't really use that tool active trader I use active trader and I use times and sales and I don't even actually use these bottom uh, tools at all maybe I will once I get a little more advanced into it but for now I don't I move this over okay so you just drag the lines this is basically your layout here so this is one chart we're in this one screen right here this whole screen is that one square if I wanted two charts one on top of the other I'd go like this if I wanted three I'd go like this and now you can type in you know Facebook uh, whatever MSF is Morgan Stanley I don't know I'm just typing in random numbers letters but here you go so if you want to maximize one chart that you're trading at the moment double click on it there you go you've got it full screen now so it's very easy to use once you learn the basic controls this I'm gonna actually this is the way I used to usually like to trade I use two charts and this is obviously set to auto scale so uh, I'm gonna kind of mirror the bottom screen to be looking like the same as the top screen uh, I'm gonna line this up just because I'm OCD like that and then I'm gonna set this now to day one minute one day one minute this is exactly what's going on I'm zoomed in here on this stock but here's Twitter now there's not much going on with this chart you don't see many lines going on if you want to add the lines like the average lines you have to go to style and I have a style saved here I'm just just to save time I'm just gonna show you what my style that I like uh, looks like and there it is I've got green solid bars red solid uh, candlesticks and green solid candlesticks for you know obviously up and down <clears throat> let me zoom out a little bit and you can see the yellow line here is the long-term average this is really like the long-term average of what's going on with this stock and these smaller lines I have set to I think it's called uh, moving average but this is basically how you get at it you would go up to style um, actually maybe st it's studies menu and then you go to edit studies and here are my studies moving to average lines you can find all sorts of studies in this side uh, area and once you add them say if I wanted to add this uh, let's see I'll type in AVG or average average true range let's try let's see what that is I'll double click that it's it's a apparently it's on the lower portion and you can set the settings and you can mess around apply and there it is now I have the average true range probably um, it's kind of like an overall view or maybe this is for volume I'm not sure but you know you just you play around with these settings you pick whatever you like and I just decided I wanted a I use the tutorial online which which lines to set I actually set um, let's see 
I used moving average two lines and I used simple moving average and when you set these up there's little settings in here you can change the colors you can change the the style of the line if I wanted a thicker line or a dotted line you could do that with there's so many options so it's really nice and that's that portion of it to see your actual um, current positions your current positions are the stocks that you're holding you can go here in this little gear on your watch list and set current account positions and there you go these are all stocks I'm holding right now at the moment watch list you can save stocks to your watch list say if I want to save I can go here uh, add to watch list or I could just literally set this to my personal watch list paper money watch list you can go down here and you can actually add you know type in symbols like this boom it's not adding it because I already have it up here say if I wanted to add a I don't know, Google Google there it is there's Google if you can afford it <laughs> but anyways um, that's that you add modules over here there's games of course like you really need that um, Trader TV you got your CNBC live feed right here you want to pop it out you could leave it playing there listen to all the bull crap that they want to talk about or you could pop it out you can move it around you can move it to your second monitor do whatever the heck you want to do but it's streaming uh, live all the time and what else what else am I forgetting you just have to poke around with this software it looks really really intimidating at first but after a while you're gonna get the hang of it if you wanted to buy a stock this is where you do it you know if I want to buy a uh, hundred shares of Twitter right now I'm just gonna hit uh, where is it right now the yellow the yellow square is the current price and you're also gonna see the current price when you go here you zoom in to where we're at right here it's 320 almost 328 it's at 7035 and the current price also reflects up here actually that's wrong I don't know why that's wrong but it's wrong for some reason but usually the current price is, is right around here and at this point it's 69.96 so if I wanted to buy it at that market price I would just hit buy market if you want to automatically do it you can check off auto send you check the number of shares that you want to buy right here buy or sell it's just a lot of really easy to use tools built in especially for day trading or if you're just trying to day trade your entry price try to get your lowest price this, this doesn't seem like there's very much going on with the Twitter stock right now it's moving really really slow probably people are just kinda of getting out after a really good day um, but if you want to sort by volume you want to see a stock that's got a lot of volume you could do that over here you can just you can customize the columns here customize you can add volume in if you wanted to volume profile I don't know which one that is but loading you could actually sort it by volume once the stats load it's probably just because such a large list but you could you could do so much you can see which stocks are really hopping today this one's up 1.27 it's 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 a really nice platform and once you get the hang of it um, you really enjoy it this is um obviously if you want to sell you can you can say okay I only want to sell this stock if it gets down to uh, gets down to 69 actually I'm holding I'm holding a hundred shares right now so if I did this I would click here you could even edit it and then when you go to edit it brings up your order panel and I want to set it to stop I want to set it to mark and if I would hit confirm and send it would put it in order so that once it got down to that level uh, or where did I have it set 6987 it would sell so that's how you do it and hopefully that's the basics if you guys have any questions comment below I can maybe make a, a different video um, this is also how you can scale hover over this area very user-friendly this program but overall I like my workspace because I've tweaked it so many times and I'm going to reload it up. It takes a little bit to load. Come on. There we go. 
and there it is if you want to really keep up to date with the news while you're trading click the news tab bring this up now you got all your news stories just in case something crazy happens um, trying to think of anything else that should be it hopefully this video is not too long probably is too late for that but thanks and have a good day